We've got things to do. Promises to keep on Mars. A report to make to the Admiral. And of course, a home to find for Sona. Okay, we have no contraband on the ship. We really were pretty thorough in checking it. Thank you very much. Right, and can we go right there? I don't think we can by the looks of things. I can't, I can't zoom in, unfortunately, which is a shame. Okay. So, it is... No, it, it, it's Sidonia. It's Sidonia. Right. Now you can see why you see Marines that get sent here. Consider this posting a punishment. It's a little bleak, I will admit. Oh, right, no, no, where was the guy? There was, there was a guy over here. Hey, could you do us a favor? Big favor. Anything I can help you with? Yeah, we need Got a bit of a... Need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Kiosk right here for you. Brilliant. Um, I could do with a bit of a clean on my... Sh oh, before I do anything, just before I do anything, I would like... To, I've got to register it before I can have it. Um, I'm sure you can find something you like. What's it? it? Um, the word I'm looking for is enhanced. Right. The Mustang. Yeah, that's just a slightly different version of the front. Whoa. Okay. The Slipstream. That is worth 175. Doesn't. It's got. Actually, it's got less cargo than the Frontier. Looks a bit. I don't know. Odd? I can't quite... It's got a crew of four, though. I don't hate it, oddly enough. I still think I prefer that. Crew of two, though. Cargo small. All right. That's... A crew of three. Capacity is okay. Whoa. A lot of missiles. A lot of electromagnetic weaponry. Like a ton of the stuff. The Warhammer. I love the sound of that. It's just the name. Um, cargo capacity is greater than the cargo capacity on our current ship. It's got the same crew. Slightly less shield, slightly less um, reactor power. But honestly, that looks like it's got potential. And I, I, I like the way that looks. Honestly, I think if I had the money, I might actually swap. I mean, it's got more cargo capacity, and it just looks damned awesome. Whoa, it's got a lot of missile. <sighs> I'm kind of liking the, the non-lethal thing for taking over ships, but, you know, the Galileo, that's not really adding anything. Neither is that. The Marathon. Good cargo capacity. It's a bit yellow, isn't it? Okay, the mass of this thing is 1,220. It's a lot heavier than the Spacer Jackal, so honestly, I'm going to guess it is even harder to uh, to fly. Probably less maneuverable. So I'm just going to... What can I sell this for? 27,000. That's not a huge map, but I'm going to keep it... For now, anyway, what I want to do is repair. You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever is broken can be fixed. And by repair, what I really meant was, could you wander in and clean up a little bit of a mess in there for us? Thanks. Also, where did you... Oh, right. oh before I do this, before I do this... Right, so I've got a point to spend. Now I could 
upgrade scavenging, which would get me extra ammo. That's not a terrible idea. But honestly, there's a little side of me thinking I should unlock commerce. Basically end up selling for a lot more and buying for less. That's just going to save me money in the long run. And from the looks of things, to get down here, I'm going to need to max scavenging, persuasion, and commerce. I'm going to have to do all of the above. Just to get down here. Because none of the other things really appeal to me. And I definitely want to be able to have up to four, five, six, and eight crew members. So, all right, you know what? Let's do this. We're making more money. Right. So. Where would we... Ever been to Aquila? Those security uniforms are way cooler than anything we've got. 666 hours without incident, wasn't it? Set at that last time. I actually managed to get a bounty done. Hey, it's oh, there he is! Safety. Thanks again for the assist. <laughs> hey, good to see you again. Still think there might be room for me on your crew? EM weapon systems. No, what could you bring to the table if I let you join? Out of curiosity, what, what do you bring to the table? I'm a real expert in the gunner seat. Have to okay. be, since I usually fly solo. I'll knock out any targets we come across. That's a promise. EM weapon systems. I actually think... I think Vasco's pretty good at those. But you know what? Yes, I would like you to join me. Okay, I'm game. I could use a break from the soul system. All right, and I can assign two of five. It's not going to let me assign anyone else, is it? All right, let's assign him there. What about Ezekiel? Could we assign him? Wait, can we assign him there as well? No, Sam. Sam's got piloting four, which is better than mine. But more importantly, he also has payloads. Yeah, you know what? Let's... I mean, I thought I could only do three. I don't need a skill to do the fourth. Let's... You have reached the maximum number of crew assignments for your current ship command level. Yeah, I thought so. All right, so Ezekiel's going to have to stay where he is. Give me a few to get my things together. Then I'll get to work. See you in the space lanes, Captain. All right. We should definitely check what each crew member brings. Self-service bounty clearance. Mission board. Out of curiosity. Destroy the Crimson Fleet Wraith at Kumas Kumasi. Kill the ecliptic agent on Mufrid. And deliver electro... Are we going anywhere near any of these? I, I've sort of got it into my head that I want to deliver something. It's on my list of things to do. I can definitely agree to do these, can't I? You know, like, if I'm out there and I... If I see them, I can land and I can do it. But I would like... I've now got a ship capable. 306 kilos. The biggest problem is, is I don't know if I'm going to be going to those systems anytime soon. This is in the... This is in the Narian system. I feel like this is closer. But it's 912 kilograms. So yeah, I... Oh, and I've got five days to... You know what? I will I will do that another time. I, yes, you do. And you know what? I've promised to help the miners out. So I am going to do that. I just want to quickly check in with the barkeep. Hey. Not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. I ain't a psychiatrist. Okay, then. I was going to say I need a drink. See if I can sell you anything and ask if you noticed that Mayora was back. But you know what? Mm -hmm. Mars isn't for everybody. Doesn't seem to want the Hello? customers, does he? Before we leave, let's you just... expect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. I just want to hey, check... What can I do for you? What I can okay, upgrade no with my ship. 
Now, I need to register it first, which is going to cost 10,000. It's only worth 30,000. If I sell it. All right, okay. Uh, that's a little better than it probably would have been had I not got that um, commerce skill. Okay, let's do this. Whoa, whoa. So the price of registry depends on the value of the ship. That sort of totally sucks. Yes, it does. That massively, unpleasantly sucks. So for me to find out what I can upgrade on this ship, I need to sort of commit to not making a profit on this ship. I'm not in love with that idea, especially since I don't know whether there are any actual upgrades that I'll be using. So... Thing is, I have a feeling any of the ships I could possibly afford in the near future are going to be no better than this. The fact that they're about the same price, 220 I, I did see one for half a million, but that's... I mean, I'm light years away from that. And curiosity is going to kill me. It's just, this will put me back 25,000. And even if I sell it, I, I only get a little bit of a profit. All right, you know what? I've got to know anyway. Okay, so let's... Forget the shipbuilder for now. What upgrades can I get? Honestly, I, I kind of want one long-range weapon at least. And this does 29 hull damage and 29 shield damage, so I can just really lay into them. That laser's kind of feeble. I might want to replace the laser as well, but honestly, I, I don't want to spend that much more money. I'm already feeling really poor. But if I want to make this ship work, I'm going to need the weaponry. I can't upgrade the shields and I can't upgrade the engines. I, I'm, I'm reluctant to spend much more on this than that. Let's. What's the cheapest laser upgrade I could get? That's a missile launcher. I mean, I could go for missile launcher, but... Electron beam. That's not really a laser, is it? No. Um, yeah. We've got pulse... Okay, that is an upgrade as well. That is definitely an upgrade, and... That's got a higher fire rate, but what does turret mean? Does that mean it auto-targets? Probably means it it can auto-target. Especially if I've got someone who's an expert gunner. Oh, but look, I'm going to be broke. I know I've taken commerce, but if I take that as well, I am going to be absolutely painfully broke. Painfully broke. I just feel like that little laser is not... You know what, though? Let's try one weapon upgrade and see how we do. Let's see how we do. Yes. All right, we, we've got a big gun now. That's a big gun, and we've got a lot of EM. I mean, once we get them uh, weakened and their shields down a bit, honestly, this thing here should be able to neutralize them, and we can take their ship... And hopefully, hopefully sell it. What did you want to talk about? Me, nothing. I, I was not wanting to talk about anything. I was just thinking about the ship. Spe can we change the name? Can we, can, can we, can we? Need some work done? Uh, maybe. Okay, no problem. I just the name, the name, uh, inspect, upgrade. Um, can we? All right, let's go with E, upgrade, previous category, right category. Just, just. Can we not change the name because the name sort of sucks? How about shipbuilder? Shipbuilder options. Mouse flight chair. What? Wait, what? There's a warning. Reduce mass or add engines to improve. Did upgrading that weapon make it not for... Oh, God, the mobility sucks. It sucks. Okay. Is there an undo, redo? Undo what? I don't get anything. There isn't... There is nothing. There is nothing. Um, Can I not rename my ship? I'm... Inspect, shipbuilder, upgrade, exit. No, I can't. I cannot. 
Maybe I had to do it when I registered it. That sort of hugely sucks. I think this means we're going to absolutely need to sell that ship that I've just wasted a ton of money on. Yep, we need to get a ship that I can rename. I'm not happy. I don't know what I was going to call it. But, um, not Spacer Jackal. To you, Captain. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've all met. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. Moara Otero. Anytime. The newest member of the ship. Although you'd think that was me, seeing as I can't remember where the, uh cockpit was. Okay, right. So. Maybe we, we can talk later. Yeah, no, I, I'm good. Good, good. And, and I, we are going to find you home. We're just, we've got to help some miners mm -hmm. out. Do you need something? Yeah, a faster ship, more money. The patience to acquire the above two. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what I would have called it. I'm, I'm thinking of it as a cargo ship at the moment. I kind of wish I could leave different crews in different ships and just have them ready on call. You know. I mean, what happens if I make my home ship one that's too damned small for my entire crew? I, I guess the rest of the crew take the other ship back home. Right, okay, well. Let's... Where, are we, where have we got to go? We're, we're, it's here. It is here at Deimos Star Yard. Let's hope they will uh, actually listen to my hail this time. There they are. Two thousand. Let's not crash into it again. Maybe that's why they didn't want to listen to my hail last time. I mean, they could have been a tiny bit peeved about the old, you know, paintwork scratching. Okay. So... Uh, let's... Oh, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Reduce speed. Okay. Hello. No. Yeah. Yes. Hail. Welcome to Deimos Star Yard. If you have business, feel free to dock. I have business. I would love to dock. Thank you very much. Okay. I have to cycle the airlock and move. Right, we'll, we will do, we'll do, we'll do. And. Oh, Vasco's joining us. Okay. Hi. So, the plan here is I've got to apply for a job and approve some project. Tell you what, let's get slightly more. Uh, it was called Red Tape Blues. Apply for the assistant to the director job. I'm supposed to apply for the job through the company's application system up at Daimos Star Yards. Yeah? When humanity finally left the cradle of Earth behind, the United Colonies was born. Intrepid explorers and valiant colonists used Deimos starships to venture into space. When the UC defended its... Deimos builds some of the toughest ships in the settled systems. That's probably why the UC Navy continues to contract with them to this day. Okay, so we're getting a tour. Colonies and Deimos Star Yard, a historic partnership, bringing an even brighter future. Okay, I ruined the tour, I think. Okay, so there's Victory Hall. Okay, so this is basically, um, I wouldn't say a sales floor, but a kind of PR. Oh, thank you. 
the phalanx. See, now that's what I'm talking about when it comes to names. Although that's more of a, you know, a classification of ship, a, a, a sort of the name of the ship type. Ships should have individual names. Yeah, that one's okay, but this one, this one looks the part. Ah. That's not terrible, but... Alright, okay. So, anyway, I'm here to help the miners out, and I'm guessing... Deimos ships are responsible for countless victories. They're a true piece of history. Okay. Well, quite a few fanboys visiting this place. Deimos delivery opportunities. Building top-notch military vessels requires an abundance of valuable resources. I've got to speak to Sandra Fullerton. Give me a second. Scattered across the settled systems, Deimos is searching for motivated entrepreneurs to provide us with the goods we need to get the job done. Do you have what it takes to work with Deimos and make a fortune at the same time? Oh, contact our sales associate, Sandra Fullerton, for further details. While we're here, delivery resource listing. Deimos heavily utilizes the following resources. Please speak to our local sales associate to discover which resource is in demand and secure a contract. Question. I've got some bases that essentially mine this for me. Could I have like little profit making machines going on there? Because that might help my current not able to upgrade the ship and buy all the things you want problem. It's a very real problem. Job posting, executive assistant. Speaking a highly motivated, seeking, excuse me, a highly motivated individual to assist the executive in charge of mining operations in day-to-day -day responsibilities. Prior executive experience, uh, assistance experience preferred, but not necessary. Good. Must be willing to relocate to Sidonia. Temporarily, I hope. Internship is unpaid with option for permanent role of end of contract. Okay. Um, providing administrative assistance, which may include drafting and editing, communications on the executive's behalf, and keeping memos, managing the executive's daily calendar for a short period, organizing meetings and appointments, performing minor accounting. Required skills and qualifications. Strong interpersonal skills, got that. Written and verbal communication skills, got that. Time management and organization skills. Ability to proactively solve problems and make decisions in the interest of the executive. Yeah, I can do that. Ability to multitask. Okay, three out of five is not, not too bad. Apply for job executive assistant. How many years of experience do you have as an executive, administrative, or corporate assistant? Define executive and assistant. I'm, I mean, I've been assisting Sarah here. She's an executive. And I was assisting Lynn. And yeah, let's just go with one to four years. I think that's a good. What's the highest level of education you've completed? I have got secondary school. Yeah, didn't. Yeah, okay, there you go. You will now be asked a series of questions to help us assess your competence for this role. Please answer honestly to the best of your ability. The executive wants to bring wants you to bring them a whiskey. Neat. What does that mean? Trick questions. Executives aren't allowed to drink on the job. Ooh. About 43 millimeter shot of whiskey served in a glass at room temperature. A full glass of whiskey with two chilled whiskey stones. Oh my god. Two thimbles of whiskey, two drops of water in a chilled glass. You see? The drops of what? Chilled glass? <gasps> I've not tried that. A mmm. But you, you don't want it. You don't want the whiskey chilled. You don't want the whiskey chilled. I don't think you do. Not the world's expert on it, but a couple of drops of water really brings the flavor out. You don't want more than a couple of drops. Oh. Trick question. Executives answer. Tr I don't know. I am most put out by this question. This one, no. This one, eh. Um, I mean, I'm going to go with this. A couple of drops of water to bring out. The, I don't know about the chilled glass. 
I've never thought about that. As long as the as long as you don't leave the whiskey in there long enough to chill, you don't want chilled whiskey. Do you? That sounds weird, but I like the two drops of water. VIP arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive who is inexplicably running late. What should you do? Entertain the client with jokes until the executive arrives. Reschedule the client's meeting with the exec for another time. Offer drinks. Apologize. Assure the exec will return soon. Nothing. Speak with the client without exec approval. I'm thinking offer drinks. Yeah. Offer drinks. Say he's coming. He's on his way. Don't worry about it. A malfunction prevent You know, whiskey, for example. A malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up. And they need to go on an important off-world off meeting soon. What course of action do you, do you take? Offer them the use of your banged-up ship. Contact the client and cancel the meeting, rescheduling for another day. Oh, we're in the same scenario. Use the company credits to immediately charter an expensive luxury craft. Get their ship towed to the shop. It's okay if they're late. Ooh. Use the company credits to charter an expensive look. You see, the company are not going to like that, but maybe they would. I mean, you get if this, if this is an important client, right? Just treat them well. Treat them well. Bring them over. While handling the executive's email, you come across a message from someone claiming to have damaging information about the executive. What should you? Take the info to the board of directors and say they can handle it. Ignore the email completely. Block the sender. Confront the exec and blackmail them in the hopes of getting a big raise. Oh, that'll land me the job. Ask the executive how they want it handled, then never speak of it again. Correct. The executive contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they're drunk. What do you do? Immediately go to the office and take care of them until they sober up. Ignore them and go back to sleep. Executive probably won't remember. Contact security and let them deal with it. Go and do whatever they want, even if it would damage their character. No, no, take care of them until they sober up. You nanny them. Please, because they're executives, you know, they don't really know much. Please be aware that all answers are final and will be reviewed when considering your application. If you would like to change an answer now, select the option to start over. Otherwise, proceed to submit application. Nope, I wouldn't change my answers because I'll probably get it wrong anyway. And then I'll wonder if my original answers were right. So, submit. Thank you for your interest in Deimos and for submitting your application. We will review your skills and experience and let you know if we feel you are a good match for the position. We appreciate you choosing Deimos. Return to the main menu. Okay. All right, then. So that's it. I've applied and now i just got to wait and see and then come back another day. Is, 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 is that basically it? Speak with... Wait, I've applied. Now I need to speak with Trevor. Uh, tell me how... To ensure I'm picked for the job. Oh, I've got to speak to Trevor. The man that doesn't know where the bin is. Back on Mars. False positives. I'll pinch and have her data. Oh, that's Akira. Okay. Where was the other one? I've got, I've got to speak to... Offer to help Mitch Benjamin. Who on earth is Mitch Benjamin? When did I speak to somebody called Mitch... There's someone called Mitch Benjamin on Sidonia. But... Okay, that's not... That's not really helping, anyway. Um... All right, then. So... I'm not going to get any further information. When it... i got to go down and, uh, to Mars anyway, so this maybe we can find this Mitch person. What was it? Delivery opportunities. Yada, yada, yada. Sandra Fullerton. Sandra Fullerton. Is there a Sandra Fullerton if you want around to here? Survive out there, you've come to the right place. If I want to survive out there, I've come to Ah, to buy a ship. Okay, I are you Oh, you are! Hello! Ah, it's nice to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high ranking general, are you? Oh. I'm the Grand Generalissimo of the Settled Systems, soldier. Um, no, I'm a civilian. You're not military. I was in the service for a time, but not anymore. All right, let's put her at my... <laughs> kind of like this, but, you know, no. Don't worry. Not anymore. Not a soldier anymore. You serve with the UC? The, the actually, don't answer. We sell to everyone. I assume right. you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. 
Mr. Henderson handles sales. But if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. Okay. Uh, don't take this the wrong way, but you're a lot more energetic than the others around here. I read there's delivery jobs you offer. How'd you learn so much about ships? First of all, what's the lowdown on the ships here? I mean, they're very good, obviously. But these days, everyone's using the same core tech, right? Oh, shit. Do you know you can be lectured on being too honest? <laughs> right, right. Um, no, I like what that, What makes most special, though, is the package. We've been building ships forever, and the way we put it all together, well, it's, it's really good. In a, I'm gonna murder my enemies sort of way. Huh? Oh, I love you. Would you like a job? I don't know what you're good at. I need you on the ship. Um, how'd you learn so much about ships and the best way to use them? The UC Navy. I repaired just about every class of vessel there is. I even repaired Henderson's longsword once or twice. Okay. I swear that man has a guardian angel with him full time. <laughs> or three. Deimos hired me because I know every rivet and microchip on these ships. So if Henderson gets stumped on something, it's showtime. He got stumped on naming his ship. Why didn't he give it a name? Why? Henderson's longsword? You know, with the talking again. Yeah, this is my blank stare about Henderson's longsword. Okay, I read that there are delivery jobs you offer. If you have your own ship, we're always looking for bulk resources. Okay. The Star Yards have negotiated a set price with the Trade Authority, twice the market rate. Okay. How does that work? Once you have the requested resources in your cargo hold, just return to me. Oh, okay. We'll pay you the agreed fee and we'll send the porters to pick up the cargo. If you deliver the full amount, <laughs> there's a bonus in it for you too. Okay, what are you looking for? As a first time contractor, I am required by law to let you know that every star yard offers the same terms. Okay. But obviously, you should deal with us. Depending on your cargo hold size, you may need to make several trips to fulfill the order. Uh -huh. So what we need is nickel. All right. We need a medium shipment, 2,000 units of it. Oh. Sure, if I get 2,000 units of nickel, I will bring it here. Excellent. This invoice has the details. Correct. Gonna need a bigger um, ship. Can't believe it. Okay, um, I have some nickel to deliver. I probably have some nickel to... Oh! Okay, how much do I get for that? Let me see your manifest. We'll unload that from your ship right now. Not a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. And I was serious about no that job ship offer. No can hold a candle to a demos. It's not even close. Do you people work here or are you actual... Fanboys. It's of service, Captain. difficult to know. Okay. So tr don't Whoa. Job, don't get blasted, but Trevor. We're gonna make sure you get that job. All right. Been Trust me. This, red this rock is the over best shot we've years. got at getting that request gets old. All right. I filled out the executive assistant application. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. Okay. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete right. the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in See, isn't HR going to think it's odd all the applications were deleted? Believe me. If you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good okay. point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. Okay, how can I gain access to the HR computer? I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. Five. I'm not comfortable with this, I gotta be honest, but it... I'll do it if it helps the miners, I guess. I know it might feel shady, but think of it more like uncorking an unnecessary bottleneck. It's gonna help us all. 
By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. <laughs> oh, Surprised okay. everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Yeah, I don't feel great about taking advantage of this poor woman. Are we allowed to do that here? It's just, I didn't want to get blasted by a mining laser. Unlike you, running through a, a laser that is firing into a rock is not one of my favorite pastimes. Red Tape Blues. Delete the other candidates' applications. Right. And... It's up there. Now, I think it's a bit too early. It is, it's morning but i'm thinking Mars maybe we with resources which means there's always going to be plenty of work yeah damos stayard makes the majority of the ships of the uc navy if you ask me that's a early yes, I did. contract yes i did know that i believe you've told me before i think we can just have a quick look around you know Get the lay of the land. You don't think we could convince them to give me a job, do you? So we don't have to... Hello! Hello there. Do I know you? No. Uh... I'm Malcolm Amazon. I work for Deimos. No, no, but I'm hoping to. I am... I was wondering the same thing. Okay, that's odd. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I'm applying for a job here, and I just thought I'd pop in and say hi. Ah, I see. You know? Well, I'm Leona Hawks, Demo Staryard's corporate liaison. Anyone who deals with our office likely deals with me at some point. I suppose I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. What do you do here? What is Demos? So what do you do here? I coordinate between Deimos Corporate and the other operations, such as the Star Yard itself, and the mining operations here on Sidonia. Deimos Star Yards Corporation is a complex entity, given that the different divisions have different goals and priorities. My job is to make sure those are all in alignment. Okay, so you're shepherding cats, basically. Um, what is Deimos Staryard's relationship with the UC? We've been contracted with the UC for decades to provide military-focused crafts for the entire fleet. It makes sense that they trust us, as Deimos is the oldest standing ship manufacturer in the settled systems. We were responsible for some of the major advancements in grav drive technology since the early days of its existence, so our legacy is strong. Okay, well, well, um, thank you for Have a good day. taking the time to Matt, chat to like me. To he looks... He looks like the guy in charge, really, doesn't he? It's amazing how smoothly our mining operations run with me in charge. I can't recall the last time we've had any major issues. That's good to hear. Excuse me, excuse I'm me. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Lots of... Business operations to operate and all that. Okay, no time to clean up your room, I guess. Don't snark at your new boss. Hopefully. Okay. I'm supposed to be coming back here later on. And, Worker but... satisfaction has been trending upwards recently. Taking their psychological concerns into account has played a part in that. Okay. While I may technically work in HR, Tia is really the one to see for any work concerns. Tia? Is this Tia? At least I've got more than enough work to complete before I can go home. <laughs> go me! Real busy, are you? All right. Uh, hi. a long day. Right. That's your way of saying, go away, I don't want to talk. Let's not annoy the person who's... Can we? And it's announcements. I mean, it's a public, sort of, semi-public 
terminal, right? Reminder, security training from Human Resources Management. This is a reminder to all employees that security training is mandatory and must be completed by the end of the month. Topics including password security will be covered because we have noticed some people are not taking it seriously. Quarterly update. As you should all be aware, our quarterly meeting is fast approaching. Attendance is not mandatory, but secure connections are required. We encourage anyone who wishes to join to contact IT to confirm their setup is secure. Press inquiries. We know the press has recently reached out to several members of our staff. Should you be contacted, please reach out to a public relations representative before responding in order to avoid any unforeseen repercussions. Okay. Wait, was there more? Is there? No, I just... Dot, dot, dot. Okay, so it's we've got to use Tia's terminal. You probably don't approve of this, but I want to help the miners out. Solidarity and everything. All right. Okay. Well, it was it was nice meeting you. I'm I'm hoping we can work together. Right. You know what? I need some sleep anyway. It's been a long, God knows how long. So let's get some sleep and come back after five, when hopefully. The ladies will all have gone off shift. Oh, what a lovely view of the Martian sky. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. It's interesting. As is the new weapon. Okay. I do hope those two weapons don't, you know, interfere with each other. Maybe it pops up when, when we activate it, it pops up. That is a turret. Will it track and shoot things to the side or even to the rear of us? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, you know what? That laser is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Look really small when, you know, you're putting the ship together, but when you stood underneath it, you realize, wow. If that fell off, it would squash me. I mean, I'm hoping it... Greetings. I'm hoping it won't fall off, because obviously that would be a sign of shoddy... I don't know about we, but I'm heading to Slumberland. Hey there. Time to get moving. Actually, you know, I'm thinking maybe you should just stay here. Just... You've been so patient. What did you want to talk about? Uh, nothing, really. I, I was... Just... No. I wanted to tell you to wait here. Logan. This chapter of my life can finally be closed. Uh, okay. yeah, we we'll are... Talk later. I'm, 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 I am gonna get back there, I promise. I do just want to help these miners out. We were passing by and I did promise to help them a long time ago. Do you require my assistance? No. I just... Look, I think we both know what I'm doing is not exactly legal. I'm justifying it because I'm helping the miners out, but it could get us in trouble. So I'm thinking maybe you should just hang around somewhere out of sight. Yeah, because if anything bad happens, what I don't want is you jumping out with a laser cutter. Yeah, it will be... A moment to get out of there, right? So I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you here. You can hang around, hang around in the in the bar, yeah, hang around in the bar. And uh, if I radio ahead, screaming, get out of here. Just get your suit on, and we'll be. You've been so patient. Yeah. What did you want to talk about? Just well, mm, I'm gonna ask you to be patient. So could you just Take wait? Your time. Oh, I, I will. I will totally take my time. Right. And 676 hours without incident, okay? The sixth circle, where's the. S I'll never forget that you helped us finally catch that crazy bastard. Oh, uh, that's good. The sixth. You know what? I, we'll talk later. The sixth circle. Um. Uh, for some odd reason, that warning made me want to go there. I've not really wandered around Mars, but 
particularly much. Can I get to it this way? The UC Exchange is a great place to buy your weapons. Just make sure to keep them so holstered at all times. Oh, sorry, I've, I've definitely gone to the wrong place here. I was. seems too busy to notice anything, so... Messages. Oh, I should not be reading this. Mining equipment. I know it isn't the right place to bring this up, but I can't seem to get a response from Peter. Our tools are falling apart and we really need new ones. Can you ping him, maybe? Throw a wad of paper at him to get his attention. Something. He's an executive, for crying out loud. I know he's someone's rich son, but this is getting ridiculous. Trevor. Company reminder. Due to new regulations in the United Colonies market, all new ships from January the 1st, 2331 onward, require coolant pumps grade E or above. We should be compliant as of last year, but please triple check all coolant pump purchases and installations so we can continue to bring our products to all citizens in the settled systems. Where to find good whiskey? Good search history. He's at it again. Peter seems to think that m the messaging program is some sort of search function again. At least he's using his computer, I guess. Wait, wait. He... Message due his. <laughs> okay. So the guy's a blithering idiot. All right. Yes. All right. Job applications. Uh, no other open. Please select a job application. Right. Almaya Dohan. Experience. Five to nine years. Assessment. This candidate answered questions adequately but stumbled on question four. Other candidates show more promise. Hold on to this application in case no other candidates take the job. I'm sorry. They, do, they don't want you. And okay. Job applications. Macaulay Esparza. I probably shouldn't do this because I'm going to start feeling guilty, aren't I? One to five years. Assessment. Candidate's proficiency seems high based on test questions. However, would prefer candidate with more experience. Keep application on file. I'm looking at it this way. I'm going to take the job, sort the miners out, and I'm going to get out of it, and they'll need to find someone else to do the job. And hopefully this time they'll do a better job of finding someone. Because it's not like any of these people are getting the job. They haven't got on with it. He says, justifying his behavior. Experience, none. Test scores are perfect, but lack of experience and education are a major concern. Consider for temporary contact contract if no other options exist. Okay, so it doesn't look like they found a good candidate anyway. Nyla Atherton. Experience over 10 years. Completed test questions with perfect sc scores. This would be an ideal candidate, but there are concerns that they may be overqualified. Honestly... PhD? This person should get a different job, he says, once again, justifying it. I mean... Okay, let's... Okay. Right. Trevor! Let's hope Trevor is a... You know, hard worker, staying up late. Because, honestly, I don't want to get another night's day's... Periods sleep. Ah, uh, it's good to see the miners. Oh, I was going to say, got some time off, but I'm guessing they didn't. Got mining robots? Okay. Don't worry. We're going to make sure you get that job. Yeah, I pretty much Trust have. Trust me, this is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. I did it. I made sure I was the only applicant. I can say that I've got some good news for you. All right. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. What? <laughs> Congratulations. I've only just... I only just... What happens if... Don't you feel bad about the... Don't you feel a little bad about the other applicants? Just a little... Because I do. Not really, and neither should you. Either oh. those applications were okay. old and those people have moved on, or as soon as you disappear after this, they'll get to hiring again. Oh, see, this is... I like you. You are just like my own... Warped justification system. Um, what happens if they figure out what we're doing? They won't. 
I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm yeah, not saying I... anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. All right, fine. What is the next? How? I mean, seriously, I only just got rid of the... the... Do you know what this means, right? The boss was literally about to sit down and go through those applications just before I deleted them. So maybe he's not quite as useless as you thought. Either that or he was trying to search for good whiskeys again and accidentally hit the wrong button. And now that I'm saying that out loud, that's probably what happened. <laughs>